Governor Ron DeSantis' recent remarks about Joe Biden's handling of the Afghanistan withdrawal, where 13 soldiers tragically lost their lives, strike a chord with those who value competent and responsible leadership. Joe Biden has failed this nation. As a veteran, I was appalled when 13 of our service members were killed in Afghanistan due to Joe Biden's dereliction of duty. As a citizen, as a husband and as a father, I am alarmed that the current president of the United States lacks the capability to discharge the duties of his office. Our enemies do not confine their designs to between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. We need, we need a commander in chief who can lead 24 hours a day and seven days a week. America cannot afford four more years of a weekend at Bernie's presidency. This event underscores a profound concern within conservative circles about the necessity of prioritizing national security and maintaining robust military power. As a veteran himself, DeSantis embodies a perspective that sees Biden's foreign policy as failing to protect U.S. lives and interests abroad. This sentiment echoes a broader public unease about the current administration's ability to uphold strong defense capabilities. The need for a capable, decisive, and effective commander-in-chief is a recurring theme among conservatives who yearn for a leader that can navigate complex global challenges with authority. DeSantis's sharp critique, likening Biden's presidency to a film about manipulating a dead man, is a stark expression of frustration. It vividly portrays Biden as disconnected and lacking the competence needed to lead the nation. This pointed comparison reflects a conservative aspiration for a president who can rise to the occasion and lead with unwavering decisiveness and effectiveness.